Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor and privilege to present the Vice Chancellor's progress report on the occasion of this fifth convocation of the Shivnada University. Shivnada University was established in 2011 by the Shivnada Foundation through an act of the state of Uttar Pradesh with the aim of becoming an enduring global center of excellence in higher education, which is learner-centric and anchored in research and innovation, driven by outstanding faculty and supported by national and international academic partnerships. The university is truly multidisciplinary and currently has four major schools, School of Engineering, School of Natural Sciences, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, and School of Management and Entrepreneurship, as well as a School of Extended Education and Professional Development to support lifelong learning. In the last century, innovation remained strongly coupled with STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. SNU's offering of what I call integrated STEAM plus, that is STEM plus art and design plus more, our emphasis on critical thinking and creative problem solving and the training and experience of cross-connecting of ideas that the Chancellor just spoke about give our students a clear advantage even in the face of worldwide challenges for what is called the future of work. A lot of innovative and contemporary research at SNU is facilitated at the interdisciplinary research centers. SNU is a comprehensive university offering a full range of general and professional degree programs, BTEC, BMS, BSc research, BA research, masters, MTech, MSc, MFA, MA, and MBA, and of course, PhD programs. We have about 2,000 students enrolled at the university today. Of these, 178 are doctoral students. The diverse student body, coming from 27 states and union territories in the country, is spread across various programs in the four schools. Over 90% of our undergraduate and postgraduate students receive some form of scholarship. And all our doctoral students receive stipends and tuition fee waivers. In the last year, the university disbursed over 29 crores as scholarships to undergraduate students and stipends worth about six crores to postgraduate and doctoral students. It is with immense pride and satisfaction I inform you that starting from August 2019 this year, Shivnada University's doctoral candidates will be entitled to an assistantship of 50,000 rupees per month with full tuition fee waiver. We have programs that are integrated with societal needs and policies. The SNU advantage is the multidisciplinary setup in which science-driven policy making becomes a reality. In the Center for Public Affairs and Critical Theory, we have launched a postgraduate program in water science and policy led by Dr. Mihir Shah. We organized a day-long national conference on a new policy regime for water in India at the India International Center last August. This conference, attended by leading water scholars, administrators, and practitioners from all over the country, was a major step in bringing together robust knowledge, practical learning, and pragmatic policy for sustainable water futures in India. Sri Nitin Gadkari, Honorable Minister for Water Resources, was the chief guest. Ms. Roshni Nader Malhotra, CEO and Executive Director of HCL Corporation and our trustee, was a keynote speaker. Mr. Amitav Kant, CEO of Niti Aayog, and Dr. Ishar Aluwalia were panelists, among notable others. With immense pride, let me share with you that Professor Rajeshwari Raina of SNU was the winner of the 2018 TN Khoshu Memorial Award, <laughs> sponsored by ATRI for bridging science, policy, and practice for sustainability. Our faculty members have so far published 156 books or book chapters, 706 articles in refereed journals, 839 conference papers or presentations, and had 110 exhibitions and performances. The publications are in extremely high impact journals. The faculty members have also filed several patents. The SNU faculty have so far brought in about 
27 crores in extramural research funding, and much more is in the pipeline. The university has submitted a proposal for partnership with ISRO under the recently launched Space National Academic Partner SNAP program uh, in the field of material science in which we have developed a strong research and training program supported by computational design, material fabrication, testing, and characterization facilities cutting across our schools of engineering and natural sciences. Our PhD students have won several awards nationally and internationally for their research. Special thanks to their superb mentors at SNU. They have also received highly competitive international travel awards for participation in prestigious conferences. The research at the university is not limited to faculty and doctoral students. Undergraduate students are required to engage in research as part of their curriculum. They are made to understand the nuances of research and innovation while we strengthen their foundation with a broad multidisciplinary approach and provide a depth of learning in their major subject. Our BTEC students have won UJ Engineering Students Project Grants from the UP government. Our biggest differentiator is perhaps the annual Opportunities for Undergraduate Research, our program, OUR, which enables undergraduate students to undertake research projects with the faculty members outside the regular curriculum. Several of our undergraduates also won top prizes in the Students' Research Convention held at IIT Kanpur recently in the categories of computer science and artificial intelligence, energy, environment, and climate change, chemistry and chemical processes, and bioengineering. SNU started the operation of an Atal Incubation Center in November 2017. This is supported by Niti Aayog Government of India, and it has now incubated 21 startups. Of these, 12 are from Shivnada University community, eight student-led, four alumni-led startups. I'm happy to share that a team of four undergraduate students, guided by Mr. Akash Sinha and Dr. Sonia Khetrapal of SNU, has won the Smart India Hackathon. It is the biggest and most prestigious hackathon in India. The team has developed a software application based on deep learning. The university is partnering with some of the leading international institutions, such as the University of California at Berkeley, University of Queensland, for an accelerated journey towards global eminence. SNU has joined College Board's India Global Higher Education Alliance, which supports meritorious students from lower income groups. SNU has also joined the Study in India program launched by MHRD Government of India. The university believes in holistic education. While we are academically serious, there are many clubs and technical societies on campus, an excellent sports complex where we are hosting this convocation today for students to pursue their passions besides the curriculum. We also offer on-campus jobs, which provide great learning experience for our students. Shivnada University ranks seventh in the MHRD Swatch Campus Rankings 2018 in the university residential category. Residential facilities are being upgraded continually to make the campus stay more engaging and attractive. It's a vibrant campus. Important conferences, seminars, and workshops are, and exhibitions get organized regularly. We have had many distinguished visitors during the period under report. The orientation program for the first year undergraduates last July was particularly enriching. With talks by Professor Anurag Kumar, director of IIC Bangalore, Professor Ramgopal Rao, director of IIT Delhi, Ambassador Sunil Lal, Professor R.L. Karandikar, director of Chennai Mathematical Institute, Professor Sukant Choudhury, among others. SNU held an extraordinary powerful women's summit on 9th March this year, featuring diverse speakers who have broken the glass ceiling in their chosen domains. SNU hosted its first alumni meet on uh, 5th and 6th April with very special interactions with our trustees, uh, Ms. Uh, Rojini Radhan uh, Malhotra and Mr. Shikhar Malhotra, our pro-chancellor. Our young alumni's onward journey is no doubt contributing to SNU's strength. In the annual exercise under the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF, carried out under the aegis of MHRD, the total number of participating institutes has increased substantially to about 1,500 from last year's 950. The results were announced this April. SNU has ranked 52 in the university category and 77 in the overall category. 
SNU has been the youngest institution in the NIRF top 100 overall list in 2017, 18, and 19 consecutively. SNU's total score in NIRF has been going up steadily. SNU has been selected as an institution of eminence by the expert committee appointed by the MHRD. The list of selected institutions is available at the UGC website, though the formal notification is awaited. Today, we have the privilege of conferring honorary doctors on four distinguished individuals, Dr. Ashok Set, Lord Charles Powell, Dr. K. Kosturirangan, and Mr. Mike Laurie. In the presence of two eminent guests of honor, Mr. Arun Sarin, Dr. Ishan Alualia, more than 580 students, including 20 PhDs from various streams of engineering, natural sciences, social sciences, fine arts, and management are going to receive their degrees, and some will be recognized with special awards and distinctions for their performance. The trustees of the Shivnadar Foundation, all my colleagues, the faculty, staff, and administrators, my dear students and alumni of the Shivnadar University, parents and family and friends, thank you for your support to the university and for joining us on this momentous occasion. Thank you.